Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the four phases of our menstrual cycle. If you want to know more about your cycle other than your period, then you are in the right place because let's just be honest, we are not taught enough about what's happening throughout our body the entire month because we are more than just our period and I feel like you deserve to know and I'm here to tell you. So let's get right into it. So before we get into the four phases of our menstrual cycle, I think it's really important to have a basic understanding of what hormones are and what they do. So simply put, hormones are basically just chemical messengers that signal to specific areas in the body to perform a specific thing. And they literally affect so many things from our growth and development to sexual function to our moods, our body temperature, how we metabolize food, like all the things. Hormones affect everything. Everything. Anyway, <laughs> so the four, the four hormones that we're going to be talking about today specifically are progesterone and estrogen. And these two maintain the lining of our uterus. Um, LH, which is short for luteinizing hormone. And luteinizing hormone stimulates the release of an egg. And the last one, FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. And this one allows for the egg inside of the ovary to mature. Also keep in mind that depending on where you are in your cycle, these hormones fluctuate up and down all throughout the month depending where you are in your cycle. So just keep that in mind. So now that we have a basic understanding of what hormones are, let's get into the four cycles. If you are a female in her reproductive years, then all month long, your body is prepping for pregnancy, whether you want to be pregnant or not. That's just what comes with the territory of being a woman. But that being said, the, when we're not on our period, the lining of our uterus is growing so that a fertilized egg, fertilized meaning that it has come in contact with sperm, and it's eventually going to grow into a baby. So if the, if the egg has come in contact with sperm and it's fertilized, then it's going to travel to your uterus eventually and find a comfy spot to implant there um, and grow. But if you are not pregnant, estrogen and progesterone drop significantly and this signals to your body to start your period. And that's when we are in the menstrual phase. Um, the blood that you see when you're on your period is just the lining of your uterus just shedding. I can only speak for myself, but I can feel when my period's coming because my energy is super low and I just, I don't feel like myself. So you can blame the drop in estrogen and progesterone for that. This is probably the most familiar phase because we see what's happening every month. We can expect it. And the second phase is the follicular phase. And this phase is pretty long because it starts when your period starts all the way up into you ovulate and that's around 13 days and a lot can happen in 13 days your body is doing a lot it is working okay <laughs> in the beginning of the follicular phase your hormones are still pretty low so you're probably feeling lethargic and everything but gradually estrogen and fsh will begin to rise and this signals to the follicles in your ovaries to grow also the rise in estrogen also signals down in your uterus to start um growing the lining of your uterus again like the body wastes no time <laughs> just think a couple days ago you were just on your period shedding that lining but it doesn't waste any time just a couple days later is the estrogen the rise in estrogen is already signaling to your uterus that it's time to start growing that lining again <laughs> just a quick little overview of like our anatomy we have the vaginal canal, which is basically where your tampon goes or a menstrual cup, whatever you use. Basically, that's where it goes. And then after that, it leads to your cervix and then from your cervix to your uterus and then the fallopian tubes and then your little ovaries hanging out over here. Inside of your ovaries are follicles and that's where the eggs reside. And all of these follicles are at different levels of maturity because we only release one egg a month. So the one that is the largest and the most dominant, the one that's growing the fastest, is the one that will be released when you ovulate. So that being said, at the end of the follicular phase, the luteinizing hormone peaks and this signals to the follicle to rupture and release an egg and then it's time to ovulate. So the third phase is the ovulatory phase and this happens to be my favorite because LH, FSH, estrogen, all of them are up except progesterone. All of these hormones are at their highest and this is when I feel my best. This is when I have the most energy. This is when I feel my best 
and everything. It literally, I just feel the best. <laughs> so if you aren't sure what ovulation is, it's basically just when your follicle has ruptured and then that egg is released from your ovaries and it's just basically looking for some sperm to come in contact with to create life. And this is when you are the most fertile and the most likely to get pregnant. <laughs> Trust me, the process isn't as confusing as it may seem. Basically what happens is the egg will hang out in the fallopian tubes for like 12 to 24 hours and just waiting for waiting for sperm, just sitting there, you know, chilling out, waiting for, <laughs> waiting to come in contact with some sperm. And if it does, it will travel down to your uterus. That's when it will find the comfy spot in the, the lining of your uterus to implant and grow. And that only happens if you're pregnant. If the egg isn't fertilized while it's hanging out in the fallopian tubes within that cars are just driving past, <laughs> within that 12 to 24 hour period, it will just start to disintegrate. So that's why it's important to know that you really only get pregnant during a specific time of the month and the hours are literally crucial. I don't know who told us that we can get pregnant whenever we want to get pregnant because it's a myth. <laughs> but yeah, that's the ovulatory phase. Like I said, if you're not pregnant, then the egg will just disintegrate and then we move on to the next phase. So the final phase is the luteal phase. And this starts when you ovulate all the way up into your period. And basically during this phase, your body is either preparing for the implantation of the egg in your uterus or it's prepping for menstruation again. After you ovulate, the follicle that once held that dominant egg that I talked about earlier in the follicular phase, it's now empty. So it starts transforming into something called the corpus luteum and the luteinizing hormone signals to the corpus luteum to produce progesterone. Progesterone basically helps support um, the lining of your uterus and basically prepping for the early stages of pregnancy. I'm so sorry if you can hear the landscapers. While progesterone is at an all-time high, this is when you're probably experiencing some PMS. Moody, backaches, cramping, all the things that come with PMS, all that fun stuff that all of us want to deal with every month. Um, because your body is basically prepping for pregnancy. If you are not pregnant though, the corpus luteum will start to break down and estrogen and progesterone will drastically drop. And this signals to your body all over again that you are not pregnant. And guess what? It's time for your menstrual phase again. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned something today. This stuff is super interesting to me because one, I learned about it in college, but Aside from that, I did not learn about anything other than my period. And like I said earlier, there's a lot more to us women than our period. So much is going on. And I think it's important to know what your body is doing so that you know how to support it while it's in each phase. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new. And like I said, when you know more about your body, you have a better understanding of how to take care of it. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!